Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim Rikakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful to let Akim out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah has commanded you to do. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line goes back to you being a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, one of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Shalom. It's your brother Halaki from the GMS Denver camp coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah with another video. And before we start up, we're going to go right here to Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3. It says what? For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come, it will not tarry. And this is what we see happening, man. Everything the most I said will happen is happening, including this RFID chip being pushed forth. And we all know that this RFID chip is the MOB. It's speaking clear, louder and louder and it's getting more clear and more clear the closer we get to the end, man. That the RFID chip is the MOB. You see? So let's go to this article right here. It says what? Payment technology. This is from the, uh, the first news. It says what? Payment technology and planet in your hand becomes first that can be used worldwide. It goes on to say, it says what? A, Lub, a, a Lublin's man, a Lublin man's firm has come up with the world's first payment implant that can be used globally. You see this? This is Revelation 13 speaking loud and clear, man. So it goes on to say what? Using biopolymers and the same short-range NFC near-field communication technology as contactless payment cards, the implant from Polish-British startup Walletmore can be sewn into the hand and used to make payments at all contactless terminals around the world that accept payments with standard cards from organizations such as MasterCard or Visa. Once again, this is Revelation 13 speaking loud and clear. It goes on to say what? CEO Washtek Paprota told TFN, so far, no one has manufactured such an implant that is accepted worldwide. The RFID and NFC implants have been available on the market since 2013, but none of them have had, has had the contactless payment features. However, you can find videos on the internet that shows the payments being processed with, with the implants, but it but it is a transaction done within the internal Venmo system where both customer and merchant have the account on Venmo. And while it more, we are talking about real payments and the commercially available implants not custom made. Working with an iCard account accessed through the app and licensed by the Electronic Money Institution, and supervised by the EU, once the account is topped up, is topped up, users find a specialist to implant the chip. With Walletmore providing a list of approved specialists, which includes over 40 options across 11 countries. This is worldwide, just as the scriptures say what happened, man. It goes on to say, the company is now in dialogue with large industry players who are keen to see how demand develops for the implants. You see, large industry players like who? Amazon, Walmart, uh, Target, so forth and so on, man. This is about to be the new norm, man. You see? Look at that. Look at that. Matter of fact, see if I can get that. That's going to be the thumbnail. <laughs> you see this? This is happening, man. It says what, like like many of the payment innovations over the last 10 years, the move away from coins and notes is gathering pace. Why? Because Esau is pushing forth his new world order, which is going to be established upon this MOB. It says what, Paprota told TFN today, the only feature of wallet more payment implants is contactless payments. We are tire tirelessly working on upgrading it with other features such as opening doors, Keys, using his authorization tokens or ID badges, personal information. You see? Basically, every NFC feature can be installed on the implant, but we are still developing the whole ecosystem to gather all those things. You see this? 
Currently, the I, the iCard account is only available in Europe, European countries, but the company is working on opening up in new markets and could be available around the globe within the next two years. Purported continue, WalletMore is the company that redefines what being human really is. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, whatever. It says what? Today, this pin-sized implant is a validated replacement of the bulky wallet, but it is only the first step. You hear that? So there it goes. The convenience of having this small little chip put into your hand. It takes away all your keys and your wallet. You won't have to worry about losing your IDs and so forth and so on, man. That's how they're going to push it. As convenience, it says what? Ultimately, our implants will merge your physical and digital identity, and it is closer than you think. Look at that. And it is closer than you think. You see? The elites are speaking right here. <laughs> you see? Ultimately, our implants will merge your physical and digital identity, and it is closer than you think. One more time. Let's go back to Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. It says what? For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. You see? And all you groups out here talking about, it's everything else except for this, these chips. You're being proven, you're being proven liars, man. Because everything is coming forth to show us that, this, that these chips are the MOB. So let's get the prophecy, man. Let's get Revelation chapter 13. And we'll start at 16. It says what? And he calls of all. You hear that? He calls of all. We just read that this is the first one that can be used globally, man. You see, so he, which is Esau, Edom, the elites, cause of all people, you see, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. You hear this? No matter what your, what your status is in society, no matter how much money you may have, how little money you may have, whether you're free or whether you're in prison, man, he's going to push this upon you because this is the end goal. You see? This is what they want to do all throughout the earth, globally. You see? It says what, verse 17, And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. We just read in the article. You see? Moving away from coins and, and paper notes, it's picking up pace, man. And the only way you're going to be able to buy in the future is what? electronically man digitally by way of this mark you see now let's go and break it down man let's go into the word mark when you go into this word mark the greek word is karagma strong's g 5480 karagma karagma right it says what a stamp and then printed mark of the mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand as a badge of the followers of the anti mashiach and all you people who are outside of this truth, who don't want the will of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, to come to pass, who don't believe on the true doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, you are anti mashiach you are anti-Christ. You see? It's not just one person who's going who gonna to show up and just be the anti-Christ. No. Everybody who's against the truth of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua is anti-Christ, man. You see? Definition B says what? The mark branded upon horses. Once again, why do you bring your mark upon horses? To show your ownership over that horse. That's what the elites are trying to do to the people of the earth. Beginning with you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the Israelites, man. You see, because best believe they're going to come with come to you with this hard and heavy, just like they're doing with this, uh, with this potion. You see? So the mark branded upon horses to show your ownership over that horse. It says a thing carved. Sculpture, graven work, idolatrous images. And this is an idol, man. You see, because you're going to have to bow down to this to continue on in society, man. This is what's coming. You see, now when you go deeper into this word, you go into the root word of Karagma, it goes into what? Karax. Strong's G, 5482. Karax. Karax. You see, and Karax goes into what? A pale stake of palisade. Now you have to understand. Our forefather John, man, he didn't he didn't have these terminal terminology and understanding of the technology of these times. So he had to describe the best way he could using things of his time. You see? So when he saw these people getting implanted with this 
this this uh this mob or this you know what i'm saying this this mob he saw the needle and said it, it looks like a pale steak of palisade now when you go into this word steak and when you go into to, to define the word steak and you go down to the origin of the word It goes into uh, you go from steak, you know, a, a strong wooden or metal post, you know, because it had it's pointed at the end. It goes and said, you go to the origin. It says what of old English staka of West Germanic origin related to Dutch staka. Also see stick too. Now when you go to see stick too, it gives you more understanding of what the Apostle John was talking about. So stick too tells you what stick too. Push a sharp or pointed object into or through something. What's that sharp or pointed object? The needle they're going to the needle they're going to use to implant you with the with the uh, the mob. As they told you in the article, they said what? Once your you, once your account is finished and topped off, then you go see a specialist for them to what to implant you with the the mob. And how are they going to do that? By taking that big ass needle, putting the implant into the needle. I mean, uh, putting, putting the needle, uh, you're putting the implant into the needle and putting the needle into your hand, man, between your index finger and your thumb. That's what push a sharp or pointed object into or through something. Thrust, push, insert, jab, dig, plunge, round, fork, force, poke, or pride, man. That's what they're trying to do. It goes on to say, of a pointed object, be or remain fixed with this pointed end embedded in something. Fix something on a point of fix something on a point or pointed object to stab or pierce with a sharp object. And that's what they're gonna do to implant this RFID chip under these people's skin, man. You see? This is why our, our apostles and our elders tell us to go into these words, because you get a better understanding of what's being talked about. Now, we got the understanding of stick too. That this is a, this is a physical market, not a spiritual market. You see, this lets us know that this is physical, and we're starting to see it come to pass more and more and more the closer we get to the end. Now, when we go back, when we go back to Karax, we came out of uh, went to Karax. Right now, we go go deeper than that. Let's go to uh, the root word of Karax, which is grapho. Right. Strong's G eleven twenty five. Grapho. Grapho. Now, when you go into this word grapho. It explains the article even more. The article said what? So the only thing you can do with the chip right now, because they're upgrading it and expanding it, is make contactless payment. But they're, they're working hastily to do what? And so you can, you can you can use it for your keys. You can use it for your identification tokens. You see ID passes. You see? What is that? That's personal data, personal information. That, that That's going to be written on these chips. As... The, the scriptures tell you what happened. It says what? It says what? To write with the reference to the form of letters, to delineate or form letters on a tablet, parchment paper, or other material. What, what is that? That's recording information. You see? It says what? To write with the reference to the contents of writing, to express in characters, to commit to writing things not to be forgotten. Write down, record. What is that? What, what, what are things not to be forgotten, man? Your personal information, say your bank account number, your routing number, you see? Your identification number, your personal identification for each chip, because each chip gonna have a personal identification number. So they can be uh so you can you can tell the difference between each each individual's chip. You see? Your driver license number, your social security number, your uh your your birth certificate information. You see, your insurance information, so forth and so on. It just told you the same thing in the audio, man. Uh, the, the audience in the article, <laughs> you see, that you're gonna write. That they're gonna be able to write eventually. Write your personal information upon this chip. That's what the scriptures tell you, man. You see, to commit to writing things not to be forgotten, write down, record. You see, and this is what they're working hard to push forth. This is what this is what's coming. So this lets us know that this. This MOB is that NFC in our RFID chip, man. <clears throat> Point blank period. Nothing else adds up to what's written in the scriptures. Now, going back, it says what? Revelation 13 and 17. And that no man 
might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So you're not going to be able to function in society if you don't get this uh, this chip eventually, man. And they're talking about bringing this shit out two years from now, which is probably already already ready to be bought out. But they're do still doing this thing of gradualism, man, uh, uh, steadily pushing upon the people, having more and more people talk about it. You see, till eventually it's going to be full blown in your face. But without this, without this MOB, you will not be able to function in society, man. You see, this is what's coming. This is not a, this is not a spiritual mark. It is not sin. It is not white women. It is not an embargo. It's none of these things that the other these other camps that are, are telling you, man. You see, the leaders of these other camps are false prophets, man, and they're leading you astray. So, hey, leave from those camps, man. Come up out of that madness and take heed to what the men of the Lord are telling you, man. Because this MOB is the NFC and the RFID chip, man. Point blank, period. Verse 18 says what? Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man. You hear that? It's the number of a man. Not the spiritual demon Satan, but a man. That man is Esau Edom, the so-called white man, beginning with their elites. They're the ones who are pushing this forth. They're the ones who are trying to establish this upon the earth, man. You see, the elites of the so-called white race, the, Edom, the Edomites, are doing this. You see? And it's all through the spirit and power of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, because this, this must happen. Because the Most High is about to see who your allegiance is to. Is your allegiance, allegiance unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, or is your allegiance unto Esau, Edom, the basest man on the planet Earth? You see? So it goes on to say, it says what? And his number is 600, three score and six, which goes into what? 666. Six, six. You see? Now, when you go into this word 666 six, six in the Greek, it goes into chai, psi, stigma, right? Chai, psi, chai, psi, stigma, right? Now, when you go into this word stigma, I don't want, I just want that. Let's go uh, web searching, right? Now, when you go into this word stigma, to the origin of the word, it's from the Greek, right? The, the Greek, it goes and it says what? Origin, Greek, stigma, a mark made by a pointed instrument. A mark made by a pointed instrument. What's the pointed instrument? The needle they're going to use to insert the RFID, the, the, uh, the MOB up under your skin, man. You see? That's the pointed instrument. Now, when you go down here to the uh, to this right here, it says what? Late 16th century, denoting a mark made by pricking or branding. How? What are you going to be pricked with? The needle they're going to use to insert the RFID chip between your index finger and your thumb, man. It says what? Via from Latin stigma, a mark made by a pointed instrument, a dot related to stick one. Now, watch this. Now, this this is Esau right here. Now. It says related to stick one, right? So remember what this uh, the definition of stigma is. It says what? A mark made by a pointed instrument, right? So when you go to stick one, let's see if that adds up to what was just said in, uh, in stigma. A thin piece of wood that is falling or being cut from a tree. It, it's talking about wood. It's, it's not. This is not the right definition. And this is Esau trying to throw you off. Because when you go down to the true, what it's supposed to say, it should have said stick two. Then it goes on to say what? Push a sharp or pointed object into or through something. Going back to what we read. When we went into the word karats and went into that word steak, it's just talking about the same thing, man. You see? It all adds up. You see, stick two goes back to stigma. Stigma goes back to karats. Karats goes back to karagma. Karagma is what? The mark, man. You see? It says what? Push a sharp or pointed object into or through something. Going into that needle they're going to use to insert the chip under your skin. You see? And it's being bought out in articles. This is what it is, man. The RFID chip is the market, is, is the MOB. Now, with all that being said, let's get the judgment written for anyone who any one of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who goes to receive this mark, man. What does it say? Revelation 14 and 9 says what? And the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice. If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. You hear that? 
You hear that? If you go, if, if you, as a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, one of the 12 tribes of Israel, go and get this chip, you are going to be destroyed miserably by way of thermonuclear fire, man. You will be partaking in the second death. That's what's written. You see? Verse 11 says what? And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. You hear that? Ain't no repenting from this, man. Once you got it, you have bowed the knee to Esau. Ain't no, I'm going to chop my hand off at the last minute. I'm going to pluck it out. No, man. Like the scriptures say, thou shalt not tempt Yahweh thy power. Don't even play with the Most High like that, man. You are not going to be able to repent from this. Once you get this, it's, it's, it's a wrap for you. You are going to be destroyed by way of thermonuclear fire. And that's just what it is. You see, you're going to be a part of the soil of Babylon the Great forevermore. Your, your flesh is. If you go and get this chip, man, you're going to be destroyed. Point blank, period. You see? And this is for the two-thirds. Because the scriptures tell you, man. Let's get this real quick. Revelation 20 and 4. Revelation 20 and 4 says what? And this and this is what happens when you stand ten toes down for Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, standing stiffly for the name of the Lord, man. It says what? Revelation 20 and 4 says what? And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Hashem, and for the word of the Most High, and which and which had not and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Mashiach a thousand years. So you're going to have brothers who are going to have to be martyrs for this truth. Who, have, who are going to have to uh, be translated into immortality by being beheaded for standing ten toes down for Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, man. You see? And I can be one of those brothers. This is something we have to put in our minds to understand and know that this, this is a possibility. You see? But don't fear it, man, because what? If we stand ten toes down all the way through to the end, we're going to reign with Yahweh Shah in that first dominion, man. That's what's written. So it ain't a bad thing if we get snatched up and put up under the guillotine for Yahweh Shah and for the Most High. That's a blessing, man. That's an honorable way to go. And Lord, and Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah willing, he gives us the spirit. Whoever, whoever has to partake of that, he gives us the spirit to endure it, man. Because hey, what, what, await, what awaits on that other side is glory, man. You see, what awaits on the other side of this, this transition from this wicked flesh into that righteous flesh is glory, man. Lord, whether we can continue to endure. And let's get Revelation 3 and 10, and I ended on that, man. Revelation 3 and 10 says what? Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. What's the word of the patience, man? This truth. We continue to toil and labor in this, man, and continue to blow this trumpet to warn our people, man. You see? Continue to keep the faith in your he the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah. Continue to hope in Yahweh Shah coming to save us and to make us righteous, man. You see? And because we keep that hope in us, you see, we keep the word of Yahweh Shah's patience. He says he's going to do what? I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. What's the hour of, the hour of temptation? The hour of temptation it was, is when this MOB is made mandatory all throughout the earth. You see? And this is about to come upon all the world to try everyone's integrity, man. Especially you Israelites. But Yahweh Shah told us that if we continue to do what he told us to do, he would keep us from this madness. And we don't have to worry about this, man. So that's what we're going to continue to do. We're going to continue to ride with Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, you see, to receive that protection when this thing is made mandatory, man. And all you other camps who are out here talking that other BS, man, that's leading the, that's leading, that's leading the sheep astray, the Most High is going to handle you, man. Yahweh Shah is going to handle you, man. You see? So with that, man, I'm going to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, and a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful to let I came out there pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah has commanded you to do. With that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wah, Abba, Abba, Abba.